Happy NAMM Show Weekend, Gear Junkies. Matt with Eddie's Guitars coming to you, as always, from St. Louis, Missouri. And it is the weekend of the 2016 Winter NAMM Show. And in, unless you've been living under a rock for the past few days, you've probably seen some uh, new guitars, photos of new guitars floating around on the Internet, specifically on a lot of social media out there, and uh, certainly some exciting stuff. New models from great manufacturers, uh, new options, uh, a lot of uh, specific anniversaries this year and this past year, so certainly some exciting stuff out there. Uh, to be honest with you, I've had plenty of excitement staying here in St. Louis. In fact, um, just took receipt yesterday of my own Dana Bourgeois OM guitar, and I thought that I would share it with you folks today. I get an awful lot of either comments on the videos or messages or phone calls even asking, Matt, you play all these incredible guitars. What do you play at home? And I'm very, very pleased to be able to tell you folks I now play a Dana Bourgeois guitar uh, as my basically only instrument. So uh, covers a lot of basses. This is a painfully versatile guitar I've found just in the last handful of hours that I've had it. Uh, very pleasing to play. This is an OM Custom from Dana. We've done some pretty cool upgrades to uh, certainly some of my favorites. Um, and it's lovingly referred to as the OM Bearded Hog, and you'll find out why momentarily here. So what you see here is a very nice looking, very blonde Italian spruce top. Just a beautiful top, and a little story behind that is um, they said, you know, Matt, most folks want the super tight grain, super creamy looking um, you know, Italian spruce when they order it that way. They said, we found that some of the, the Italian spruce with a little wider grain is really explosively good sounding. So I said, put whatever looking top you want on it, just make sure it sounds great and, and particularly real sensitive for finger style. So you can see just a little bit of wider grain on the outer edge there, which I don't mind a bit. I actually kind of like that. Bordering the top of the guitar is Dana's half herringbone or rope purfling. All wood there, just really neat contrast of colors, really works with the whole theme of this guitar really well. And the body itself is bound in a nice, rich Zeracote binding. Just really looks so nice. Uh, I love their wood binding, the wood purfling that goes along with it there really works very well. And a wood rosette going right around the sound hole here. The back and sides of this guitar are sure beautiful as well. It's, uh, it's straight grain Honduran mahogany. Uh, really a nice looking set of mahogany. Nothing flashy about it, but I wanted something pretty plain Jane, pretty, pretty uh, straight. Nice even color to it. And just a very non-obtrusive black back strip going right down the center of the back there. couple cool details on this guitar which are kind of different from a lot of the OMs that you see out of Dana's shop is it's got a Zeracote fingerboard and a Zeracote bridge. Uh, really a nice looking very dramatic rosewood with uh, a lot of cool grain happening there, kind of swirly grain and a matching Zeracote headstock uh, veneer up here with of course Dana's mother of pearl inlay up on the top of the headstock. Got nickel Waverly tuning machines uh, with the uh, ebony buttons on there and those ebony buttons really perfectly match the ebony bridge pins down here. I'll tell you the guitar is just so perfectly well coordinated between all the Zeracote. It's also got the Zeracote uh, heel cap back here and a Zeracote butt wedge down here at the end of the guitar. So really just a, a, a very well dressed guitar. Not too loud but uh, very well coordinated for sure. As you could probably guess, this guitar of course has the Adirondack bracing which is standard for Dana's guitars and I have had to order it with the hot hide glue construction. I just had to do it. Uh, that was one of the first options on the list that was imperative to be there. Um, just one of the best options I think in really opening up the voice of his guitars and in the long run I think will really be a beneficial option to have as that stuff really hardens and becomes one with the insides of that whole guitar. This thing is braced so darn well. I mean, the finger style, it's, it's very warm, very rich, and if you take a flat pick to it, it's very satisfying for that as well, and it's got better headroom than I would have honestly expected out of it, so it's a very uh, surprisingly good sounding guitar. Uh, let's go take a listen to this one. It's very special.
And I would say she's a keeper. It's just an absolutely magnificent voice out of this uh, wonderfully built guitar. I think uh, the, the craftsmanship, specifically on the bracing of the guitar, as well as the Italian spruce top, just offer a, a richer harmonic content that you would normally find out of a hog guitar like this. Uh, normally we'd find a little bit drier voice, but man, this thing just really sings and the sustain just really sails. That bottom end is nice and substantial, but yet balanced and clear. Uh, not muddy at all, really a, just a wonderful sounding guitar. Uh, I am completely, completely in love with it and can't wait to really uh, break it in myself and, and hear how it ages over uh, the, the years that I've got it here. So very, very pleased. Many, many thanks to all the folks at Bourgeois, specifically Dana, of course, uh, also John, Scott, and Ryan. Many thanks to all of you as well as any, anyone else who had a hand in, uh, in creating this masterpiece here. So. Uh, and also thanks for watching. Thanks for letting me share this thing with all you folks. And thanks for the inquiries about what I play. This is it. Um, and uh, if you would like to create a, a bearded hog of your own or another creation from uh, Dana's wonderful shop there, certainly shoot me an email here. Uh, and as always, don't forget to uh, subscribe to our YouTube demos. We'll see you guys next time.